So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do your navigation on your Shopify website. What I'm going to do is show you how to do the main menu, the footer menus, all that sort of stuff. So let's actually get into it. And before we get into it, if you haven't signed up to Shopify, I've got an affiliate link below. You can check that out. Um, what I normally offer is if someone uses my link, I'll actually send you a video review just like this of your website, what you've done, go over some tips and suggestions. So with all that being said, let's do it. So when you're in your main menu of Shopify here, what you actually want to do is go to online stores and then navigation. This is actually where all your navigation for your whole site is. Now, <clears throat> if we come to this site, um, I haven't finished it obviously, but we're going to do the main menu up here right now. So if we go back here, we can actually change this. We can click into main menu here. You can really name it whatever you want. Um, normally what I actually do is depending on how I structure the site, I'll have the, the main menu as all capitals um, or lowercase like this with, with that like that. But really depends. So I'm just going to do it capital home. So what we did there was we just edited the name. If you wanted to change the link, you could just delete it there. And then you just find where you want to actually go. So homepage, search, collections, products. You know, you can link pretty much anything. We're going to click homepage, apply. I don't like it saying catalog here. So we may as well just delete this, remove. We can go add menu. So if we want to add a menu item, that's what we do. I normally like to click the link first. What we can do is go here, products, and then click all products. And then we can actually change this to shop like that, and then press add. And then normally in the on a desktop, I like to have home shop about. Um, I'll actually show you how to do it on a mobile as well. Um, the theme I'm using is the beautifier. I'll leave a link below. It's a free theme. The great thing about this theme is that you can actually structure your main menu for desktop and then have another menu for mobile. So that's what I really like about it. Um, add menu item, we'll add a new one. Link, so for pages, what you have to do is go to pages here and then we can just click on about. So I'm going to change that to just about in capitals and press add. And then if we save here, this is going to save everything. So hopefully if we um, refresh this, see how it's got home, shop, about. Now, if you actually want to make a drop down menu for the shop, this is actually what you do. So if we add menu here and then click the link, go to collections, we can actually put all products, click there. So it's actually said all products. Now, what you actually want to do is click on these little dots and hold. And then you can move it up any any way you want. Now to actually put it into a menu, see how the line goes all the way to the end. If we just move it over a little, see how there's that little gap there? That actually just dropped it into this. So if we actually save this now, and then we refresh this page, see how it's got the little drop down there? So it's actually put the drop down in there. And then we can actually add a couple more collections here. So let's put cats, let's put dogs. <clears throat> now that's the, the main menu on a desktop done. We refresh here. So it's got all products, cats, dogs. Now, if we wanna do a different menu for mobile phone, what we can actually do here is go navigation and then add menu. We can go um, main menu, uh, mobile. So what I actually like to do is structure it a little bit different for a mobile phone. So if we press add menu, click the link, we can put home page. I actually make this say home page, press add. Then we click the menu here, all products. I'm gonna put shop here. Then add page, about, about us, contact us. Now, the reason why on a desktop I don't put contact up the top is because most websites, 
um, people aren't going to want to contact you straight away. And I have that in the footer. If you think your website's going to get a lot of people contacting you, I'd probably add contact up there in the top. Now, if we actually go to themes here and then go customize theme, we're actually going to add this navigation to mobile. And then if we click here, drawer menu, we can actually change so if we click change main menu mobile so see how it's got home page shop here about us contact us and if i just move my head we just press select there so it's actually added there you can actually put a second menu so if you made up another menu you could actually put it in there what i like to do for the second menu is have like frequently asked questions uh, privacy policy terms of service shipping policy returns policy um, you know pretty much everything is in here and you could also have a drop down for this shop here as well. So if you did the drop down just like the other main menu, that would be fine. So if we go here and then watch, yep, it's all there. All right, so now how we actually do the footer menu, we actually have to go and make up menus for this. So if we actually just go back and on sections here, I'll move my head a little bit. We just click here on footer. I might just put myself over here. And then we scroll down to the footer here. What I actually like to do is you normally have sections like this. I actually like to remove this about us one. So if we click on it, press remove content. And then I actually like to add a couple more menus. So for quick links here, what I would actually do is just remove that footer one and call this information. Like that. This one here. I like to have a shop. I pretty much like to um, allow people to get pretty much anywhere on your website in one or two clicks. Um, and I think this way it looks a lot more professional as well. And then this one is policies. Then I like to add another one, social media. And I like to call it social really depends on how your theme structured sort of thing on what you would actually call it what it actually looks like on a mobile and stuff like that so if we actually drag this up to here this is how i like to have them information shop social policies and we're actually going to go and make those pages now so if we just go back to the navigation so we want to go online store then we want to go navigation and I'll go back down here. So the first one we're gonna make is the information one. So information, and then I'll just quickly do this because it should sort of work it out by now. So pages, about, I'll just take, change this to about, pages, contact, just gonna change it to contact. Just going to change frequently asked questions to FAQs. And if you actually wanted to put a blog in here, this is how you do it. So add menu, link, then see where it says blogs here. Then you'd select the blog. I'm actually just going to change this to blog and then add and then save that one. So we've done the navigation for information. So now we're going to do the one for shop. So add menu, shop link to so you're going to click the products um, i'm going to select all products and then add and then we're going to add some collections so collection cats what i like to do for the shop one is have a link to all the products or all the collections and then have probably my three most popular collections so now we've done the shop one we save it in the top right and we want to make a policies page one. So we're going to add menu. Um, we're just going to call this policies. And I'm just going to put footer. And then we go here. We go link. And then we scroll down the bottom where it says policies. I've already done a video how to make policy pages. I'll actually leave a link in the description or below this video. So you can actually check that out as well. We're going to put privacy policy. I'm just going to call this privacy. And then we're going to do that again for terms. I'm just going to call this terms. 
and then we're going to do shipping and we're going to do returns or refund like that so now we've made up the navigations we actually have to go to the site and actually add them there so we're going to go themes and then we're going to go customize now we're pretty much just going to link everything up move myself out of the way again up there and then we're just going to click footer and then we're going to go to information and then we're going to we're going to select the menu information so information select shop select the navigation for shop policies we're going to select the navigation for policies footer and then for the social media all you're going to do here is go to theme settings and then go social media and then you're just going to copy and paste your links in here so i'm just going to do asterisk here or four so once these links are in here we're going to see this down here in a minute one some wi-fi links so that's sort of how you do all the menus personally here for the newsletter i actually like to be a little bit creative because realistically if you look at conversion rates and stuff like that even if you had a conversion rate of 10 percent, which is pretty good that's still 90 percent of your traffic that isn't actually buying something off you so if you have a really creative newsletter that makes people actually want to click and like actually subscribe to you um, that can really help in the long run get people to to actually buy stuff from email marketing and things like that so you get their email and then you market to them later so that's really important so i think that's about it um, this video was made because one of my clients asked about this so i thought i'd make this video if you only have any suggestions um, leave me a comment below and i'll do a video on um, a topic that you might want to know about um, I'm also doing a tutorial on Debutify soon. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments as well. Um, until next time, have a good one and talk to you later. Bye.